My name is Rich Doring. I'm the lead pastor at Real Life Community Church of the Nazarene in Portage, Indiana. Our address is 3134 Swanson Road here in Portage, Indiana. And our website is reallifecc.org. We have two services on Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Our 11 a.m. service is also broadcast online through our Facebook feed. As the pastor, it's easy for me to put my finger on several things that I love best about our church. But to me personally, the biggest plus is we are quote unquote for the region. The region being all of Northwest Indiana from East Chicago to Chesterton, South to Valparaiso. This whole section of Indiana that really rides the lower section of Lake Michigan is birthed and influenced by the steel mills. And we are for the region. The things that we do in this church, we do to build the kingdom in the region. Real life is different because the name of the church indicates real life. And we we are among many churches that talk about the fact that anybody's welcome, come as you are. But the reality is, is we live in an area where that just has to be a truth. And so one of the things that makes real life community church unique is that we have people from all walks of life. And it doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done, who you are, what you look like. All of that really becomes secondary to the fact that uh, we consider you a part of the family when you walk through the door or when you join us online. We also want to make it clear that, yes, we're a part of real life and real life is hard and people bring real life issues to church, but we're also being invited to real life and experience true real life through Jesus Christ. And we're excited to see lives changed by him. The mission of Real Life Community Church is to love God, love people serve the world. And we don't see those as three independent things. Those are all intertwined. In other words, if you're truly going to love God, that's going to impact how you relate to people and how you serve the world. Are you really going to be able to serve the world in Jesus's name if you're not loving people or loving God first? All three of those are intertwined. And what's amazing is watching as people really grab onto that mission and allow God to use them, not just inside the walls of the church, but so much more importantly, outside of the walls of the church, where they live, where they work, where they serve, where they go to school, in their homes. Uh, We're called to be on mission. And I'm excited that we are a church that loves God, loves people, and serves the world. When it comes to some of the ways that Real Life Community Church is engaged in the community, in the region, as we said, our our mantra is really for the region and for the world. There's several things that, that come to mind. One of those we just completed every single June, our church sponsors something we call the Challenger League. The Challenger League is four weeks of working with uh, children who have special needs and offering them the opportunity to play baseball. And uh, we coach those kids. We participate on the field with those kids. We run with those kids. We sit in the stands and we cheer on those kids. And this last Sunday evening was amazing. We had an awards ceremony for all of these kids. And it's one of the, one of the highlights of the church year. And that That just flows right into other ways that we've been able just to reach into the lives of children and families and some of the needs in the community. We have a back to school fair that happens every single August where thousands of families are impacted and we're able to give away school supplies, give away free haircuts, just really kind of kick these kids into the next school year with some confidence and knowing that they've been loved on and shared with. There's also an amazing, amazing community garden that we have established across the street from our physical building. And this community garden is run by people in our church, but at the same time too, we raise produce and give it away. We give away tons and tons and tons of produce every single growing season. Some of that produce goes to places like Gary, Indiana, which if you know anything about Gary, you know that uh, it's gone through a lot of turmoil and a lot of transition. It's a food desert and a half. I mean, there's just nowhere to buy fresh produce hardly at all in Gary. And so we've been able to be an influence in that area as well. There's also a mobile food pantry. In fact, as I'm speaking about this right now, we've got a mobile food pantry that's coming and establishing itself in our parking lot this Wednesday. And uh, that's a partner that partnership that we've established with the mobile 
Mobile Food Pantry of Northwest Indiana to come and be a source of distribution. Our people show up for that and show out for that to help and serve and just love on people. And then one of really the biggest highlights, I think, of every single year that everybody here at Real Life looks forward to and being a new pastor here, I look forward to experiencing it for the first time as a Christmas concert. Uh, They do a huge Christmas concert every single year, and it's just a full-on concert but it's a concert with a purpose. Every year there is money raised through that concert in order to help families in the school system. There's been money that's been raised to send to Rwanda to establish a banana plantation to help with micro enterprises and businesses in Rwanda. There's been all kinds of different things that have taken place because of that Christmas concert. And ultimately it's kind of a kingdom vehicle for us to be able to pour into places maybe we never even will ever go but we're able to use music to tie people's hearts to those things. So those are just a few things. Well, at Real Life, we have a great student ministry. Our student ministry director does a fantastic job. And we, because we are a church that's a part of a region, we have uh, students from all different schools throughout this region, from Hobart, Portage, to Gary, to Chesterton, and everywhere in between. And so the student ministry is a real powerhouse when it comes to life and just what we get to experience in our church. And they do a great job sometimes even leading worship with us on Sunday mornings. And then we do have a great children's ministry. Our, our children's ministry director does a fantastic job. Uh, coming out of COVID has been interesting, but at the same time, too, we've seen our families really gravitate towards wanting to get reconnected and reestablished. And it's been fun to watch how that's taking place. We've got life groups that we have that connect people with each other. We've got special interest needs, uh, special interest groups that, uh, that we have going on during the life of the week of the church. All of those are designed, again, to push people in that direction of what it looks like for them to love God to love people and to serve the world. And so we're excited about some future opportunities, celebrate recovery. If you know anything about that is going to be starting before too long. And uh, we've got some other options on the table as well. And we also have a coffee shop that we are looking to expand and, uh, and really kind of create a global partnership with some coffee growers in Haiti, as well as establish some opportunities for employment here in Portage. I think what Shine.fm provides for us as a church is another vehicle and another opportunity to hear God's love and God's encouragement in in a different way. We want to make sure that uh, we're continuously used in such a way to influence people, bring people closer to Christ. And I think Shine.fm, particularly the music, gives us the opportunity to be up to date on what's coming out and what might work in our setting. And worship is one of our high values in our church. And so a resource like shine.fm provides that for us. And for me as well, it establishes a stronger connection to not just all of that Nazarene University, it's my alma mater, but uh, as well as just continuing to be grounded in the faith, uh, being able to jump into the vehicle and turn that on and have that fallback connection really encourages me. We do have at Real Life Community Church an upcoming opportunity on August 1st at 2 p.m. We host our back to school fair. At our back to school fair, kids can get school supplies, select from all kinds of different options. But there's also jump houses, there's food, there's music, there's a concert, there's face painting, there's balloons, there's all kinds of different activities that take place on that day. There are free haircuts that are given out. There's all kinds of different vendors that show up that can provide and offer different services. And so that takes place at 2 p.m. on August 1st here on our property. And again, it's a it's an opportunity for us to bless people in the region. And so if anybody's a part of that region, Holbert, New Chicago, East Chicago, Lake Station, Chesterton, all these communities around Portage, we just want to encourage anybody to engage in that at all. You can also find more information about that event or other events at our Facebook page at RLCC Life through Facebook, or you can go to our website at reallifecc.org.